Yes, you look at me now. You are real MC or this scenario building 622 receiving company. You understand? Yes, sir. For no one. The only one's good about your mouth will be yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Tens of thousands of Marines have begun their outstanding service on these very yellow footprints. You will carry out that proud tradition to your staff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're just taking your first steps in becoming members of the world's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. Combat fitness test. It's two laps, you understand? Yes, yes sir. Ready? Go. Stretch now. Measuring their strength, see how they how they're performing on that. Get up! Run! 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 Crawl, crawl, crawl. It's important for the recruits to experience because this is their first time in recruit training. This is the first time they're learning about the Marines. And for us to throw this on them and, and have them train like this, it, it gets in their mindset that this is, you know, it's not just about them anymore. It's not me, I. It's us, it's about Marines, brotherhood. We also have the senior drone instructor inspection. Basically, we, we get to see their attention to detail as far as our uniforms, as far as our cleanliness of weapons, and just the knowledge that we've we've instilled in them since the moment they picked up on us in Fox and Lee. Every Marine, it's a rifleman, but also Marines are amphibious. We have a 25 meter swing, a four minute float, Drop from the tower. To turn you, overcome your fear of heights. But also, initial PFT, test your strength as well as now a pull up, the crunches, and then a three mile run. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Pack up the food in the house and move up to Camp Pelt and just move into the second phase, which is right here, marching the ship. So for grass week, we have to recruit for five days and they get taught about the basic fundamentals of marksmanship. A lot of these guys have never even like held a weapon or anything, so it's all the way from how they handle that weapon in a safe manner to placing well aimed shots in the center of a target up to 500 yards. Uh, so the fire position, so there's the prone, sitting, kneeling, and standing, and then we teach them every variation we find what variation works for them, and then we take that, we practice it for that week so they can go down range and apply it. Nismit, so it's indoor simulated marksmanship training. They use that to simulate shooting down range, and it gives the recruits an idea of sort of what to expect. The recruits are in grass week with a five mile hike. This 
week is our table one relay for the recruits. Neither recruits, this is their first time ever actually firing a live round. They're taking everything that they did last week, learning how to aim, the proper, proper shot placement, proper, proper stances, proper positions and holds, and they're actually applying that to live rounds this week. all day long, multiple days before they actually qualify. Every recruit will have a coach standing over them that is willing to help them out and turn them into the marksmen that uh, we need them to be as Marines. Uh, you know, the goal of every Marine is to become a rifleman, to become proficient with their weapon, and that's what we're doing here. Is, uh, before they leave out of here, they will be a rifleman first and foremost. So this week, Fox Company and had Field Week. Started the week off, table two shooting, which is that close quarter combat shooting. We worked on all those drills that PMI taught them. Those tactical reloads, speed reloads, control pairs to the chest, stop drills. They were put in that combat mindset and they went out there and they accomplished their mission they were assigned to do. Downrange area is clear. Then they went to the field for their basic warrior training. They went out there and they did this assault course where they practiced low light drills with flares in the air, combat gliding, and how to properly overcome obstacles in the combat territory with the combat mindset. Then they started learning land navigation, how to read a map, how to plot points on the map, and how to find those places they plotted. They worked on it during the day and that night. Team week is the first week of the third phase. This is a week where we start really transitioning and giving the recruits the responsibilities taking care of each other, doing the right thing when nobody's watching. They go to different agencies and they just help out, breaking boxes down, cleaning up, stocking shelves, whatever needs to get done around the depot. Also this week we had an interior guard showing the recruits the purpose of standing duty and in a more real life situation. The drill instructors also do scenarios. For example, if somebody comes out the area of operation and the recruits get challenged with tasks like that. The Sears Commander's inspection is an inspection done by the Sears Commander and what he's looking for basically is for them to be able to articulate themselves, talk with confidence, uh, demonstrate bearing. It's preparation for company commander's inspection and the battalion commander's inspection. This week Fox Company did the inventory PFT, measures the fitness of the recruits since they've been here at recruit training. It's about their middle point, measure their pull-ups, crunches, their run time, see how much improvement they made. Did the bayonet assault course, where they go through, if they can put their, put their McMap techniques that they learned to the test on a, in a real life scenario. Final Pico 6 and the Thunderdome, where they'll be doing the final CFT. The CFT is a combat fitness test. They measure their, um, the amount of times they're able to lift a 30 pound ammo can. They do a obstacle course that consists of carrying ammo cans, zigzagging through obstacles, low crawling, high crawling, sprinting, and doing a fireman's carry. They also do a 880 meter sprint around the track. So this week we actually had our final trip. A uh, big thing for the recruits. This actually shows them a lot of pride and discipline. And a lot of things that the drill strippers actually worked hard for to do. In the final PFT, the physical fitness test, where recruits are evaluated on pull ups, crunches, and a run time. The next thing that we're going to be doing this week is. The repel tower. The repel tower for the recruits is the opportunity for them to get their last little bit of courage out and show their show the drill circuit that they actually want to be United States Marines. The chamber is filled with CS gas a non-lethal tear gas and ride control agent and test the recruit's knowledge on properly employing equipment used during biological and chemical attacks. 
The remainder of week 12 is spent undergoing the most defining moment of recruit training, the Crucible. The Crucible is the culminating event of recruit training process. It is a 54-hour field training exercise executed with only three meals and four hours of sleep per night. Designed to emphasize the importance of teamwork and overcoming adversity, the Crucible culminates with a formal presentation of the Eagle, Globe, and Anchor and officially marks the transition from recruit to Marine.